Hey, what's up, homies? My name is Sly Fox, and welcome back to the homie Hunger Games. If you guys did not see the first episode, I do, I do need you guys to check it out because there you will notice what the game is all about and why it doesn't even get a second part. Because again, it did really, really well, and you guys really wanted more. So there you have it. But this time, what we did was a combination of things. The people in this game are all homies from the YouTube channel, and these people have been either a top comment on the past week's video, uh, one of the a commentator in general in the videos itself, or people that have just subscribed recently too. So if you have subscribed to the channel, which is one of the main things I really do need from you guys, if you guys want to be part of this, the only thing you need to do is be involved in the channel. Again, you don't have to do all the crazy stuff, but again, taking this video itself, like today's, and sharing it, leaving a like, leaving a comment, just having fun with it and involving yourself with other homies will continue and give you a higher chance to be in the video yourself. So, we have Sander, Pikachu, Taygirl, Skadop, Radish, The Gaming Corgi, Jason, The Noob, Simple Saw, Legit Whistler, DJ Anime, Crimson Virus, Leonardo Martin, Blay Studios, Super Vipers, Rachel, Sack, Blade, Tonka, Maple, Haley, Hero, Garrett, and Trevor. Let's start this Hunger Game. Let's see what homies are gonna be doing. <clears throat> and welcome to the first phase, the bloodbath. As the tribute stand on their podium, the horn sounds. Mm -hmm. The gaming corgi runs away. So it's Tay and Crimson. Also Jason and Blade runs away. Also, we have the same thing with Sack, but Haley, Haley goes out of her way and picks a shovel. Good choice, good choice. Also, we have Skadup shoots an arrow at Hero Cat, but misses and kills the simple salt! Holy shit! Skadup, what the fuck, dude? He's one of our moderators. What? Whoa! We got Trevor running away. We also have Sandra running away. The Whistler retreats a trident from inside the cornucopia. We have again, we, we have the king of the. The Whistler is the king of the seas today. DJ Anime runs while also Blaze and Pikachu do the same thing. The new runs away. Also, Garrett takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Super Vipers snatches a bottle of alcohol in a rack. So we might have some Molotov action fire here in the future. We have Reg grabbing a banana looking very inappropriate. Also, we have Maple Beer and Leonardo fighting for a bag. Maple Beer strangles Leonardo with the straps and runs. So... We have two people down. We have two people down. Rachel runs away and Tonga cannot handle the... Tonka. No, it's, a, it's not even the first day. Cannot handle circumstances and commit suicide on the spot. <sighs> Anyways, it's day one. The legit wizard diverts the gaming corgi at uh, his attention and runs away while Blake constructs a shack. Sack begs the new to kill him. He refuses keeping Sack alive. So Sack, you're very enthusiastic about this already. I can tell. Tay girl discovers a river. And funny enough, people are saying that how was it that Poison Kitty in the last episode died of thirst when she found a, a river? The river could have been exactly just polluted. You never know essentially what could have actually triggered the death. That's where we use our imagination and all that jazz, really. <clears throat> Haley, our tends to Super Viper's wounds. What? While Trevor receives fresh fruit from an unknown sponsor, Hero attacks Chris and Virus, but he manages to escape. Jason injures himself while DJ Anime hunts for other tributes. Garrett receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor while Blazers attacks Maple, but he managed to escape also. So two people have been pretty slippery. Sander begs Rachel to kill him. She refuses. Two people want to... Come on, guys. Survive. Live. Believe. What the hell? While Red sees smoke rising in the distance, but it's smart to not investigate. Pikachu Chase is got up. Let's see what happens. So we have three tributes down already before we even got to nighttime. We have Simple Saw, Leonardo Martins, 
and Tonkata. Thank you so much for joining this homie Hunger Games. You you fought bravely, and I appreciate your support. Let's continue. Night one, Blade, Jason, Trevor, and Scott sleep and shift while the legend wizard loses sight of where he is. He got lost. The new convinces Mabel Beard to snuggle with him. This is anime love here. While the enthusiastic sex tries to treat his infection. Wow, let's see. Yeah, that's a you got a pussy cut. You got a pussy cut. We just nasties. Also, super vipers climb a tree to rest. While Pikachu and Haley run into each other and decide to truce for the night. See, a lot of friendships in the first night because everybody's like, Oh my god, what's... You just wait, you just wait, you, you, you just wait. DJ Anime helps Radish by tending to his wounds. Then Santa Joe receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. So two people have explosives. Blaze receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. And Hero Cat... Decapitates! Tay the girl with a sword! Tay the girl! Where's your head at? You're, you're gone! You're gone! You see it! I, I'm sorry. While the gaming corgi stays awake all night, can't blame the puppy, Rachel Janet pushes a crimson virus off a cliff during a night fight. Oh, lord. Oh, wow. Okay, this is like... Something like that. Something like that. And then Garrett dies. <laughs> dies from hunger. What? Garrett, what the fuck? Oh my god. Day two. Hero Cats attacks Rachel, but Rachel manages to escape while the legit wizard explores the arena. We have the gaming corgi, Blade, Radish, and Super Vipers hunting for other tributes while Scudup, Sander, Trejo, Pikachu, Danube, and Sack hunt for other tributes too. So there's two different parties, a four and five. That's this is crazy. Also, we have Maple, Trevor, Blaze, Haley, and Jason. Uh, wait, Raid. Wait, give me a second. Maple, Trevor, Blaze, students, and Haley raid Jason's camp while he is hunting. Oh wow, that is that is unnecessary. And DJ Anime unknowingly eats toxic berries. Really. Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're one of these individuals, you can say rip me. So you can feel more involved in this. But four shots can be heard and Tay the Girl, Crimson, Garrett, and DJ Enemy have perished. Rip to all of you. And thank you so much for joining us. Let's continue. We have Rachel questioning her sanity while Jason cooks his soup before putting his fire out. This is night two, by the way, guys. The legit wizard questions his sanity, so a lot of people are going cuckoo banana plus while Sanders stays awake all night. That's how you go crazy. Haley cooks her food before putting her fire out. That's completely smart. And Hero Cats lets Blaze into his shelter, which is a terrible idea. Maple, Pikachu, Blade, and the gaming Kogi sleeps and shift while Trevor and the new huddle for warm. Radish shoots an arrow into Skadab's head. Holy sh! Oh my god, Scott, that is so bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and Sack dies of the century. I don't know what that is, actually. I might have to look that up. And Super Vipers loses sight of where she is. By the way, guys, if the he or she, your gender is wrong, majority of times I am assigning gender on um, random or based mainly on your icon so i usually pick people with pictures in their icons that way it makes it a little more fun too so if you don't have a picture i would say uh we're gonna make you guys want to support the homies and if you want to wear the flags all proud and honorable we're gonna hook you guys with that so you guys can have something at least for the next hunger games right all right so let's continue at day three, Jason camouflages himself in the bushes. Very appropriate since he saw the snake. While Sendo defeats Haley in a fight but spares her life? Really? The gaming corgi discovers a cape like a puppy would. And Maple, Hero, Pikachu, Rachel, and Blade hunt for other tributes. The legit wizard is also hunting for the truths while the noob is helping Radishes with her wounds or his wounds. Wow. Okay. 
Super Vipers and Blaze Studios hunt for other tributes, and Trevor receives fresh fruit from an unknown sponsor. Let's continue. Oh wow, the two shots came here. It's got up and sack. Rip in peace, homies. You did what you could. Thank you so much for participating. It was awesome. <laughs> Let's continue. Night three. Radage and Trevor run into each other and decide to choose for the night. Usually it seems like nighttime, everybody becomes very, very like punks, for lack of a better word, or just they become overly friendly. The gaming corgi receives an explosive. A puppy with an explosive, all right. While well, Supervivor receives a hatchet. Rachel and Pikachu slip and shifts while Blaze stays awake at night. Sandra hums quietly, cause why not? And Haley is awoken by her nightmares. Maper begs the new to kill him, but he refuses, keeping Maple alive. Jason receives fresh food. Blade thinks about winning. Way to go, Charlie Jean. And Hero sees a fire but stays hidden like a cat would. The legit wizard stays up all night. Day four. Pikachu attacks Blade, but he manages to escape. While Radish receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor, the gaming corgi shoots a poisonous blow dart into Haley's neck, slowly killing her. Holy hell. While your old cat picks flowers. Anyways. Sandra receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. A lot of hatch throwing. Where you were the hatchet, hatchet, hatchet. This is pretty much Black Ops one. And let's see. We have legit wizard receives clean water. That's really important. While the new discovers the cave. Maybe the cave that the puppy was and pooped on. Jason hunts for other tributes. While Super Vipers and Blade Studios split up to search for resources. So we have still teams. Then Rachel diverts Trevor's attention and runs away while. Maple goes hunting. We have one person that got killed, and it was because of that poisonous blow dart. Haley, sorry to see you go, homie, but that's the rules. Thank you so much for playing, and let's continue. We are in night four. Trevor climbs to a, uh, climbs a tree to rest while Jason attempts a fire, but it's unsuccessful. Jason, come on, man. We have Maple Beer and Radish running to each other, and again, this is this is friendships here. This is friendship city. The, the comments of the day, the word of the day, if you don't have anything to say, it's Friendship City is alive and kicking. Friendship City is here. There you go. So, we have Blaze cooking his food before he puts his fire out. Rachel cries herself to sleep. That is a very sad, sad, sad visual. And we are not happy to see you crying, Rachel. Cut it out. <laughs> we have the Lich... The Lich... The Lich King. We have the Legit Wizard... Unknowingly eat. Oh my god. That's the second one. Legit Wizard eats toxic berries. The new hero, the gaming corgi, Sander, and Pikachu sleep and shift. And Super Bye Person plays serious in shifts. Let's continue. Woo! Day five. Super Vipers receive a hatchet. It's we're giving out hatches like it's nobody's business. While the gaming corgi picks a flower. Hero Cat steals from Rachel while she's in looking, and Reddish discovers a river. The new travelers to higher ground, while Blade runs away from Blade Studios. Jason sees smoke in the distance, but he de oh he decides not to investigate. While Trevor strangles Pikachu with a rope. Maple Beer explores the arena, and Standard's being smart and is practicing his archery skills. Let's continue. <sighs> the Legit Wizard and Pikachu have been both taken down. Thank you so much for being part of the Homie Hunger Games. And we'll see you guys in the next video too. Or, well, I don't know. Who's done? <laughs> Let's continue. Next day. Night 5 now. Trevor Labyrinth and Blaze Seals. Oh, man. Oh, that's cute of you guys. Get cute. Well, maybe we let the noob into his shelter. Rapper lets Sandra into her shelter while Radish questions her sanity. Here, the cat and Rachel talk about the troops still alive while the gaming corgi screams for doggy help. Jason attempts to start a fire, but is still not lucky enough to make it happen. And then, Blade 48 is questioning sanity. So, if you can see now, a lot of our core members that were doing really good are slowly deteriorating and might fail here dramatically. So, let's see what happens. 
Maple Beard kills Jason with a sickle while Super Viper picks flowers. Radish sets the new on fire with a Molotov, the one that we see before, while Blaze Seuss defeats Blade 48 in a fight but spares his life. Sanders thinking about his home while the while Trevor defeats Hero Cat in a fight but also spares him. Rachel stabs the puppy in the back with a fucking trident like this is a shish kebab. What the fuck? Rachel, no fucking chill. No fucking chill. No chill today. Today is no chill day. And here we have an arena event. A cloud of poisonous smoke start to feel fill the arena. Blaze survives. Sander survives. Super Viper is in the cloud of poison smoke. So, rip. Trevor and Red decide to run into the cloud to. That's, that's definitely taking the easy way out. Blaze survives. Rachel survives. A hero cat survives. And Maple Beer is. Go for the. Seven shots can be heard, and we start saying goodbye to all the homies that have perished. <sighs> we have Jason, the new, the Corgi, Super Vipers, Trevor, Radish, and Maper Beer. <sighs> saying goodbye to the living and now joining the dead. Thank you so much for playing. Hopefully you guys enjoy your little bit of it, but we're gonna continue. So night six. Blaziewicz tries to sing himself to sleep, while Hero Cat, Hero Cat dies of the century, which I still don't know what it is. Sander begs Rachel to kill him, she refuses and keeps him alive, while Blade 48 falls into a pit and dies. The pit... The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute families. This is actually pretty big. Blazer shoots an arrow into Sanders' head while Rachel decides not to go to the fees. Blaze Studios accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. Four shots can be heard. Hero Cap, Blade, Sander, and Blaze right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Give it up, everybody, if you're watching to this point for Rachel Jeanette. Congratulations, Sector 8! You have survived the Homies Hunger Game, and you will now move to the second challenge in the future, which you'll be joining DJ Waffle. And again, we're gonna have to do at least 12 episodes of this to have the main event. So we're not done. And if you want to be part of this series, make sure again to first subscribe. The main thing: subscribe, leave a like, comment, and share the video. Uh, YouTube has been really really cool and showing me how many people have been active and again you guys show your support I will show you my support and bring you guys and involve you guys more things But again to all of you guys watching. Thank you so much for joining me in this second homie hunger games My name is Sly Fox Sound, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care homies. See ya